Cyber threats are everywhere. You need to be protected every step of the way. Otava's Secure Framework is your blueprint to protecting your business. It's time to improve your security posture. Let's dive in. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our Secure Framework vignettes. It's great to have you here with us. I'm Irma, and I'm joined today by Chris. Chris, do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, thanks, Irma. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Borelski. I am the product specialist here at Otava, working primarily with our business resilience product family. And today we're diving into the U for undo, but this is not just a control Z from my understanding. Is that right, Chris? Yeah, that's exactly right, Irma. Undo might sound like a quick fix, but really it's about having that business continuity plan in place for when a, uh, a cyber event does happen having the tools and plan to isolate and repair any damage that's been done to your systems, and most importantly, your data. And oftentimes I hear this is no longer an if, but a when a cyber threat may occur. So having the right tools in place, like you mentioned, makes all the difference. Yeah, absolutely. Despite you know all of the advances and all of our, our focus on preventative measures, you know, knowing an event can and likely will happen at some point in the near future makes all of that planning so important. And knowing exactly which data is most critical to your business to get back up and running as soon as possible. So we're not just talking about making our backups. We're also talking about immutable, meaning uh, once they're set, they no one can really tamper with them. Yeah, exactly. Having an immutable copy is like having a safety deposit box for your backups, right? Even if the worst happens, you've got an indestructible copy that's safe and ready to go for when you need to recover. Um, it's also crucial, folks, to remember and to reiterate that backups aren't just a set it and forget it thing, even with those immutable copies. Making sure that you test your backups at least twice a year, and if it's business critical data, as often as you can, but at least quarterly to make sure that, you know, when you need that last line of defense, you're undo, you have it and it's ready to go. That's great advice, Chris. If you were to leave us with one key takeaway from today, what would that be? Yeah, it's don't just take backups, right? Make sure that you secure and test those backups. And most importantly, make sure you have a plan to undo any of the damage from a cyber event that happens with those backups so you know exactly what to do when it happens. That's fantastic advice. It kind of reminds me of that famous quote where if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So being ahead of it and setting it beforehand makes all the difference for your business not to miss a beat when um, you have these strategies in place. Thank you for your insights, Chris, and thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Irma, for having me. And don't miss our next video where we'll continue to explore the secure framework talking about the R for recover. Thanks, Chris. Bye, everyone.